Hi guys, just doing a very quick uh, update on my PS4. Uh, this is a first generation PS4, has the stock hard drive inside it, which is the 500 meg hard drive. Uh, and uh, I'm going to upgrade it to a brand new drive, which is a two terabyte, uh, and it's a, a Fire Cuda, and it's a uh, essentially it's a hybrid drive, and uh, the the hybrid drive allows me to uh, put inside the system a two terabyte uh, storage capacity drive uh, with uh, the same sort of facility as an SSD uh, without the SSD prices. So um, here's, the, uh, here's the, the drive itself. As you can see, it's a Seagate Fire Cuda, two terabytes, uh, came from Amazon. This is the packaging from Amazon. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll just um, open up the PlayStation 4 and get inside it. So there's the, uh, the undo. Here's the little screw to take out the drive itself. So it uh, looks to be a little bit thinner than the one I've got on this at the moment. So let me change that nib over. Hopefully that one works. Yep, that one works perfectly fine. So let me take this one out and unscrew it for you. So this is the only screw that holds in the hard drive. And it's uh, labelled up with the PS uh, the PlayStation logo, so it's got the cross, the square, the circle, and the triangle. So we just slide the drive out. Here's the original drive. There you go, there's the original drive, you can see it. And we have these uh, little screws which need to be taken off. And just check which way around. So um, the smaller connector, the fatter connector, goes in that way. Look at it again. Smaller connector, the fatter connector goes in that way. Uh, so we can just take it out. Should be quite simple. Just remove these screws from here. So there we go. We take off one of the screws. Loosen this one off as well. And this is the uh, two and a half inch drive. So it's the effectively a laptop drive. Uh, but the uh, Fire Cuda with its uh, onboard SSD for essentially storing information from uh, your activity. So it builds up a an idea on how you're using the applications on the PS4 and we'll then uh, preload those in a little bit quicker for you when you're playing games. So at first the drive will not be particularly fast but then over time it should get a little bit quicker and uh, we should see load times improve significantly. So sliding the drive off, remembering which way around these two go, there's the old drive, here's the new drive. Uh, line up the screws. So there's the first one. Lining up the screw on this one. Lining up the back one. And uh, I can feel there's sort of some rubber mounts. I'll show you on this one. So there's some rubber mounts just here and here. In fact, uh, that one's come off. So this one is over here. So let's use that one. Let's fix that one on. So it's a first generation PlayStation, so I bought it on release in the UK, uh, and uh, can't say I use it daily, but uh, it's certainly something that uh, myself and the, the family use. Um, we play Blu-rays on it, and uh, as a result of which, it's uh, it's quite a reasonably well used uh, platform. So um, by putting the new drive in. I'm hoping that uh, one, that I can use some more of the games that I've been uh, downloading from the, uh, the PlayStation Store and actually have them on the machine ready for use rather than uh, just being held in the cloud. And uh, that's fine, but you know sometimes it's nice to have a couple of games on the go. Um, so what I did is um, I did the cloud backup before I did the drive. I did a full drive uh, backup as well from the uh, on, online the on the devices uh, from the uh, 
system configuration tools. Uh, so now we just place it back in, offer it back up, slots in. There's the uh, PlayStation screw in place. Tighten that one back up and close up the lid. The lid back over the top. And voila! PlayStation now installed. Now, of course, the drive doesn't have any of the uh, operating system on it at the moment, so I've already downloaded on a USB stick the uh, full latest copy of the, uh, the system uh, uh, OS that uh, the PS4 uses, uh, and I'll plug that in and I'll record, obviously, the, uh, the, the startup sequence as I go through the process of um, uh, fixing this all together. But um, that's the, the drive update, fairly straightforward. I hope you agree. Right, so we're now back in the uh, area where the PS4 is usually used. I need to plug in the Ethernet cable, uh, the power cable, and the, uh, uh, the camera, as well as the HDMI lead, which uh, is looking for the signal. And uh, with me I have the... So here's my USB key, uh, which is uh, uh, 2 gig, and 1 gig was free, so I'm able to use that, and I'm hoping to plug that in, and then hold the power button down for... Uh, till you hear the two beep sound and once we hear the two beep sound uh, then hopefully it will start loading the OS. Uh, the other drive I've got here this is my uh, external Buffalo hard drive this is a terabyte drive uh, and this is where I made a complete system backup so I'm hoping that I can reinstall uh, the system configuration that I had before uh, back onto uh, the, uh, the PlayStation as well. Um, I uh, didn't uh, uh, disable the um, uh, my profile on it uh, assuming that uh, uh, that would be okay. So uh, this, hopefully this PlayStation I think is another activated PlayStation. So let me plug all the bits and pieces back in together. Our cable will go in last. Uh, so the, uh, this is the lead that goes in for the camera. Tricky. Uh, let's go for the Ethernet cable. Uh, going to go in next to it. HDMI. A bit easier to go in because it's there. Power, not touching the buttons too much. Power goes in here. So there we go. Uh, I'll put the USB drive in. Uh, it was already configured uh, so that uh, it'll actually uh, boot in the right way that uh, PlayStation requires it to be. Let's just move this one out of the way so you have a full screen. And let's uh, fire this up. Hold it down, bring up the, that's the second beep, so hopefully that's now reading the drive, let's see, uh, we can always reboot the process, but um, assuming that that's okay, it's only read the drive at that point. Okay, needs to be connected up to a dual shock through the USB lead. Get one of these in. Press the PS4 button. Ah, so. So initialize PS4 reinstall system. So let's go for that. UK time zone looks to be the right time
let's just leave that that moment in time. Confirm and continue. Obviously, I'm going to accept, but let's scroll all the way through. Assuming that uh, Sony wants you to look at all of these things. So let's accept. There we go. We're in. Just go for user one. There we go. So there's the uh, settings, standard screen. Let's go down to storage. There we go. So 6.35 meg um, with a 1.7 terabyte drive and you can see that's what we've got free. So the drive is installed. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to unplug that USB key, take my Buffalo drive, plug him back in. settings let's move it over here so you've got a bit more view of what's going on now let's go down to system system so backup and restore this was where I did the backup so I can do a restore so restore there was my original system. Let's do a restore. Let's go yes. And let's let the system pull off the information from this, uh, this drive. Let me turn it around. Feels a little bit uh, precarious at the moment. Right, okay, so it was preparing itself to update this. Um, clearly, I'm not going to record this for three hours. So what I'll do is I may show you once it gets to the, uh, the end of its uh, download process. So we're getting down to the uh, final few seconds here of the install of the backup. So I'm hoping that um, very shortly It'll reboot and um, we'll be able to then see the, uh, the two profiles that were already installed on there, which were um, previously installed on the smaller hard drive. So with luck, we'll see the backups and everything else that are installed. So this is taking about three hours to do. And I periodically just walked in here just to check on how its progress was doing. And you can see the drive lights flashing away on the Buffalo drives. Okay, here's to hoping that it now reboots. Yep, so we're restarting the PS4. Pretty sure it's going to ask me to use the uh, the controller.
right i'm just pressing the uh, button on the controller confirm there's my login that's my backup screen looks to be up and running okay let's go down to storage up to storage there you go so that's the amount that was being used so there are my applications these were the applications that were installed so destiny 2 which is what i'm playing hitman and uh, various other bits and pieces which were on the uh, on the box so uh, now have uh, a fully functioning let me just check that uh, let's go for uh, network access test the network connection Okay, so I just need to sign into the uh, into the, the normal network, and um, once that's done, we're all good. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was helpful for anyone who was looking to put uh, a Fire CUDA two terabyte drive into their PS4. Um, I'm sure a number of these have been done over the last couple of years, but this is a more modern update uh, showing you the install process.